What's up, Palm Tree? Well, I'm not holding back on you. I'm not holding out on you. I'm going to give you this review for Maxo. Even God has a sense of humor. Now, prior to listening to this album, I actually did not know much about Dude. And what's crazy is that I've actually met him before. But check this out, man. Maxo's a LA rapper. He's worked with the likes of like Earl Sweatshirt, The Alchemist. And it was actually through Pink Sifu a frequent collaborator of his that I actually got hip to Maxo's music. And then I found out Maxo has even more Spotify followers than Pink Sifu, but who even gives a f about that? Just kidding. All right, here's the thing about this album. What I like about it is that he does not sound like your typical LA rapper of this era. He very much reminds me of like the alternative hip hop I started getting into in high school. You know, like, I don't know, like Blue and Pigeon John and then like early Kendrick Lamar. So this album is definitely high quality hip hop. I like the instrumentation on here and I like the poetry style of cadence that Maxo brings to the mic. Um, the song 48 featuring Pink Sifu. I'm going to always remember that one because Jet Life sampled the same song on their song First Place. This was way back. We're talking years ago. Then Both Handed featuring uh, Liv, I hope I'm saying that right, or Livy is excellent. That's one of my favorite tracks off of here. And then you got the song Nuri, Love the Flute on the track. I really like the way Maxo like blends his voice with the track. Like I said before, he just has really good cadence. Now, Falls Down is Fire. That's like a backpack rap style type of thing. And then you get to the song Free. A uh, single really carries that same energy from the last song. Free is the lead single off of here. And the song One Day at a Time featuring Kia, I like uh, her voice because she kind of reminds me of Erica Badu. You know, kind of similar vibe. And Face of Stone, that accordion beat, is like the cornerstone piece of the album. That's definitely one of the songs I'm taking away with me. Now, overall, again, you know, it's not your typical L.A. project. You know, in, in the same vein as like a Draco or a Ralphie the Plug or a Greedo or somebody of that nature. No, this is completely different. But this really kind of goes to show how diverse we are as a scene. And even the alternative scene being separate from, you know, the main lines and the, you know, the more the gangster stuff, you know, has a distinguished vibe. Okay, so Maxo is not like bar heavy, but this project is very beat heavy in the sense that you know you're gonna hear kind of like a different take on boom bap it's way more grassroots and it's way more reminiscent of like the older underground rap you know that's come out of this scene so all in all man i was feeling it yeah definitely shout out to maxo definitely want to get that interview locked in soon my brother so what do you guys think of maxo's new album even god has a sense of humor let me know in the comments it's been another palm album review also let me know what else i should review all right till next time everybody peace love palm